With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question says that a football player kicks a ball at an angle of 30 degree with a horizontal with an initial speed of 20 meter per second. Assuming that the ball travels in vertical plane, Calculate the time at which the ball reaches the highest point, maximum height reached, the horizontal range of the ball and the time for which the ball is in air. So we have to find out four quantities such that when a ball is kicked. So there is a football and the player is kicking the ball. So if at all we are trying to visualize the question. So let's say this is the horizontal and the football is kicked in this direction at an angle of 30 degree with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second. So since it is projected in this path with a horizon with an angle at a horizontal, we can say that this ball now performs a projectile motion. So it performs a projectile motion like this. So as it is performing a projectile motion, we can resolve the initial velocity vector. So that is going to be 20 cos 30 along the horizontal and perpendicular we have 20 sin 30. The maximum height will be this h maximum and the range will be from the origin to the landing point. So we know what is initial velocity along x axis, initial velocity along y axis and they are asking us to calculate the time at which the ball reaches the highest point. So let's calculate the part d first, the time for which the ball is in air. So if at all I am calculating the time for which the ball is in air, that is nothing but time of flight. So we know that time of flight is given by t is equal to 2u sin theta divided by g. So we already know what is u sin theta. We can substitute it directly. So it will be 2 into 20 into sin 30 divided by g value. Let's take it as 10 as given in the question. So this will be 4 into sin 30 which is half because I can cancel these zeros which is going to be 2 seconds. So the total time for which the ball is now going to be in air is 2 seconds. So if for total time it's in air that is for the initial point to the landing point if it is taking 2 seconds to reach the highest point it would be taking half the time. So the answer for part A to reach highest point to reach maximum height time taken will be equal to 1 second. So let's call this as small t first. So let's say this is t which is equal to capital T by 2 which is 1 second. So to reach the maximum height it takes 1 second. Next they are also asking us to find out the maximum height reached by a given body. Under the projectile motion the maximum height reached by a body is given by u square sin squared theta divided by 2g. So this can be written as u sin theta the whole square divided by 2g. So let's substitute it here. So we will be getting h max will be equal to 2 sin 30 sorry 20 sin 30 the whole square divided by 20 which is now going to be 400 divided by 20 into sin square 30. Sin square 30 will be equal to 1 by 4. So this is 4 1 times 400 times. So 100 divided by 20 will be equal to 5 meter. Therefore the maximum height reached by the ball is 5 meter. And they are also asking us to find out the range of the projectile. So the range of the projectile we already have the formula again. The range of the projectile is given by r is equal to u square sine 2 theta divided by g which can further be rewritten as r is equal to 2 u square sin theta cos theta divided by g because sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta since we know what is u sin theta and u cos theta we will be substituting it so this can be written as 2 into u sin theta and u cos theta divided by g because u square can be distributed between the two terms now let's substitute the values 2 into 20 into sin 30 into 20 into cos 30 divided by 10. 
So 20 into 20 is 400, 400 by 10 will be equal to 40, 40 into 2 is 80, sin 30 is half, sin cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So this will be now equal to 80 divided by 4 which is nothing but 20. So the answer will now be equal to 20 root 3 meter. So this is going to be the range of the present time. Therefore, the total time taken by the given the football which is kicked to start from its initial point and land on the ground again is 2 seconds. Time taken to reach the maximum height is 1 second. Maximum height reached is 5 meter and the range is 20 root 3 meter. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.